So um, where's the space that you would like to be in in relationship to that? Okay, so he's at A, B is where that is, and C is the space in between. So that effectively, in between him and that, is, a, is what I call a small world in which that particular problem is, um, is the issue, and it exists in that space in between. So um, we're going to look over these next few days about things that have to do with the space of B and things that have to do with the space of A. There is in quantum physics um, a notion called entanglement. And entanglement is one of the things that drove Einstein nuts. And uh, he spent the last years of his life trying to figure his way out of it. And basically it says that if you have two particles that um, existed together, and if you separate them in space or time, and it could be light years, then whatever you do to this particle, um, this other particle is influenced exactly the same. <clears throat> so that idea doesn't uh, make sense at all in terms of our sort of Newtonian world. Another thing that this entanglement does is that if you have a hole and you take a, a photon of light and you make two holes there and then put the photon, photon of light towards those two holes. Now normally the photon's got to make a choice. Am I going to that hole or that hole? Well what the photon does is it goes through both holes and it doesn't split. So this whole idea of entanglement is a very um, strange thing. And so Einstein's phrase for it was um, a, a weird, oh dear, James, do you remember? A weird, strange, I think strange effect at a distance, something like that. So, um, so this is going to be fairly similar when we set this up. It's very hard to differentiate between what's happening on that piece of paper and him as a person. And once you get this sort of exchange going, then what happens on that paper is going to happen physiologically in him. And if we're a wee bit lucky in a couple of days time I'll be able to demonstrate that to you. So we'll take all um, uh, physiological processes and then show you it happening in, in real time with temperature changes and, and breathing changes and heart rate and things like that. Um, so, so I've just remembered Einstein's phrase. It's called spooky action at a distance. So this is, uh, I think, a very appropriate term that, you know, stuff takes place on there and it rattles stuff in you. But what's great about it is that, that um, the space of B holds that kind of information. <coughs>